Hello, it's Dr. Triple Seven, and in today's video, I'm doing a video on a program called "Should I Remove It?" It's a pretty cool program. It's a small, light, and simple program that allows you to easily see the programs you have on your system, and then see if you should remove them or not. So I get asked all the time how to free up space. So I usually tell them, "Well, try uninstalling some programs." And a lot of times, people have problems seeing, "Do I do I actually need this program?" There's so many programs you want to remove one that you actually need. So this is a program that can kind of help you root the programs that you know you don't need. So basically you can find a program, it will tell you what it is, and then you can kind of determine more efficiently do you actually need the program. Along on the website they also have some cool facts. Below they have manufacturer bloatware. So this is some of the most popular companies and the ones with the most bloatware pre-installed. So at the bottom we have Acer and at the top we have Toshiba. So another cool thing is you can go to how to how to remove manufacturer and then what you can do is see each company and all the bloatware that they put on it and what you can do is you can go ahead and uninstall from your system. Now you don't want to remove all the bloatware because some of it actually can be useful especially if you use some of it. But a lot of it you actually will not use and can actually slow on your computer and take up hard drive space. So by removing them, you can save a couple gigs. So they have all the companies that they mentioned before, and they have all of their pre-installed software. And at the very bottom, they have some of the most active programs um, most recently. So Ask Toolbars at the top, and we have some like AVG, and then you can see the percentage of them removed. So it's pretty cool. But anyway, enough about the website. Download this cool program, you can go to the link below, which is this one right here, and then click the big download button. And then click download. It will download in a second, and then you can go ahead and run the installer. So it's a set license agreement. And go ahead and install. Once it's done, you can automatically launch it right from your setup. So as soon as you um, open it, it's going to open up a web page. So it's going to be welcome to the Shut and Remove It web page. And this is going to kind of tell you um, how to work the program. So the main screen presents you with a list of programs. You can click the What Is It button to see what it is. And then you can uninstall it right from there. So um, we can go ahead and look at the program. So as you can tell, I have a bunch of programs and you can see the ones that are highest percent of removal and then the ratings. So I purposely installed this annoying program that a lot of people have and as you can tell that's my highest one. At the very bottom I have things like Crisis 3 which has a very low percentage rate. Anyway so I'm going to go ahead now and uninstall this. Before I do I'm going to click what is it. And what it's going to do is open up a web page and kind of explain what the program is. So it's the, this one is a social search engine. It's a plugin for browser. You can see program details, the size of it, estimated obviously, and then files installed. So you can see all the stuff that it installs, as well as any Windows services it uses and average utilization. Now this is this isn't totally uh, accurate because if you have a high-end system it's not a big deal for your computer but if you have a low-end system then it can can be a hassle. But that's just an average. So this page kind of tells you what it is. So now you have some rating so people can give it a rating and I can give my own rating. So most people give it a two-star rating and then up here you have should I remove it? 39% of people remove, remove this application. So now that I've decided that I actually want to remove it all I have to do is click the uninstall button and it will automatically unlaunch, launch the uninstall application. So this is a great way of uninstalling any applications. So it works for everything. You can go through and just check your stuff. So the stuff that you want to be worried about is the percentage when it's in the red area. If you have something in the red area, odds are then it's going to be a program, maybe a annoying program, and you can easily get rid of it. 
So we have under the settings tab, we have one setting, which is sh run, should I run it on a schedule about once a month. So basically it will automatically come up and check for any new updates. So you can do that if you'd like, or you can go for the check for updates manually right there. And I'll tell you, you have the latest version. So this is a pretty cool program though. So just for example, I'll go down and see another program. So here's Team Viewer, your very useful program. I'll click what is it. So they have a quote from the actual company, and then they have a overview. So and they have program details, what it's installed, even its hash, and then any additional files. Now Team Viewer is a big program, you know, allows you to connect to computers from anywhere in the world. So the files are obviously going to be a bit bigger. It also has a behaviors, so you can see the firewall exceptions that it adds, which is a pretty cool thing. And obviously, it adds firewall exceptions because it's going through the internet, but it shows you exactly what you got. And then of course, it shows you your utilization averages. And over here, it says 11% of people use it, and our rating for this program is pretty good. Even down here shows versions of the program. So here's the most popular version right now. Anyways, with those, that's about it for this video, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you do enjoy the program, leave a like. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can leave them below. Anyways, guys, for the last uh, sentence, this program is basically an enhanced version of the uninstall menu that comes in the control panel. This is an enhanced version. It's a very small file. Um, so it's like a one megabyte download. So I suggest checking it out. Anyway, have a great day. This is the Hacker Trip 07, and I'm signing off.